Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mastering Retaining Walls and Shoring Systems using Plaxis uh, 2D. This is tutorial number 18. We are going to simulate a long term stability of diaphragm wall in deep excavation as a basement wall. If you remember in previous two examples, we uh, simulated a deep excavation supported by a diaphragm wall, a reinforced concrete diaphragm wall using Plaxis uh, 2D and we performed a stability analysis and also uh, we uh, investigated uh, the effect of increasing the number of uh, strat rows in the, on the stability of uh, the diaphragm wall. So uh, this figure as you can see we are going to simulate uh, this example in uh, this uh, tutorial. Uh, we assume we have a deep excavation uh, to 7 meters and uh, the width of uh, the excavation is uh, 10 meter and uh, we are using a diaphragm wall for uh, supporting uh, this excavation and uh, pre-existing uh, uh, loads come from pre-existing uh, structures and uh, the soil uh, layers, uh, the soil stratigraphy is uh, the same as the previous example uh, so as you can see in here uh, we will have uh, 12 meters high uh, diaphragm wall and uh, these are the location of uh, the strats and uh, the excavation will be 7 meter in a previous example the excavation was uh, 6 meter so we will ha we will increase uh, the excavation depth uh, that's why we will increase uh, the height of the diaphragm wall uh, for a uh, stability uh, purpose. Uh, so because as you can see uh, this example due to symmetry because uh, we have uh, the same uh, thing, same load and uh, same uh, soil properties so we are going to uh, model or simulate uh, half of uh, the problem uh, using a plain strain uh, uh, and after uh, after uh, simulation of uh, this excavation uh, we assume uh, uh, these uh, diaphragm walls uh, will be a basement wall for a new structure and a new structure will be uh, built as you can see in here where this uh, excavation will be uh, two basement and at bottom of the excavation we will have a foundation a reinforced foundation concrete which is uh, uh, 600 millimeters and also we will have uh, two concrete slab one of them at the top and uh, uh, the other at the middle of the excavation and uh, the thickness of this concrete uh, slab is uh, 200 millimeters so maybe it's not uh, very clear in here let me show you in uh, AutoCAD so as you can see uh, this is going to be our example we have two uh, strats as I mentioned before the excavation is uh, 7 meters deep uh, the width of the excavation is 10 meter and uh, the water table is located 4 meters below the ground level so in the excavation we will we will devote we will uh, lower the water table one meter below the uh, bottom of the excavation and it will be at uh, eight meters below the ground level and after that we will have uh, uh, this uh, concrete foundation and uh, these two concrete uh, slabs so let us uh, click on the last phase which is a short term uh, factor of safety after construction of the structure we can see the short uh, term uh, factor of safety is uh, 2.99 and uh, the long term stability or the long term factor of safety is about 2.8 which is uh, a little bit lower than a short term uh, factor of uh, safety and uh, the first uh, uh, stability analysis was a safety factor when uh, the diaphragm wall and excavation is supported by uh, strats. So uh, this tutorial will be long, that's why I will uh, 
and in here and uh, we will uh, talk about the results of this uh, example in detail in next uh, tutorial thank you for watching see you in the next uh, lesson